What's up, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about what's happening with the overall market as we're breaking to new all time highs. I'm going to break down what my warning is about this, what you should be watching for as time goes on. But just note that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out my Weeble link. If you deposit any amount of money, you're guaranteed 12 free stocks. If you deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 in total. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75. Offerings very soon in just three weeks. Anyways, right now the market's looking very bullish. We've broken past all time highs on SPY. We're looking at 576.5 as our target so far. We're still trying to break through this. So if we hold above 575 and we continue to hold at these levels, we're looking for 578 as our next target. Potentially even 580 could be coming next. Now, even though the market is bullish, I want to just say that I don't really hold this view forever. I still believe. There's going to be a significant rug pull coming soon as we get closer to November, right? But we're not there yet. We're not ready yet. And the market remains bullish for the time being. So we just have to focus on that for now. Now, something else worth mentioning is that, um, you know, we have another catalyst that's going to be very important for the markets as today is Wednesday, October 9th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have the FOMC minutes coming out. Please remember that this is not necessarily a FOMC meeting or anything like that. This is simply just a report of FOMC, so it could cause a lot of volatility. And then on top of that, uh, we also have the CPI report coming out tomorrow. So we have a lot of important data coming out. So at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in about two hours from now, we have this very, very important data coming out. Uh, it could cause the market to dip or it could cause the market to rally even harder. So just wait and see what happens and be very, very patient nonetheless. I also believe that whatever the Fed announces, uh, at, for the minutes reports. So it's just a report that comes out on paper. That's all it is. And the, it's going to affect the markets. Whatever is announced will affect what the market views about the current target rate. So far, there's about an 84% chance we get a 50 basis point cut again in November. We'll see if this is shifted or not. So how is the market moving? So from how I see things, I want to adjust these levels real quick. Um, we're basically going to be looking at 575.8 as our supports. And we have 576.5 is our resistance. If we get back above that area, if we break 576.5, I think we could get closer to 578, if not 580. Those become possible levels if we manage to break this resistance. And if we fail to do so, if we get below 576, we're looking at previous all-time highs becoming our next support, which is very close to 575. As of right now, the chart is pushing. There's no sign of it stopping yet, so it still remains bullish. And we could be looking for new all-time highs, and we could get very close to 580 with the, the amount of momentum that's building. However, despite the market pushing like this, I do want to warn everyone to be a little bit careful because uh, I still believe that there's going to be a rug pull coming in the future. So if, if you are planning on shorting this, I want to give you a warning about that. Sometimes the market could go a little higher. Sometimes it could go a little bit higher than what we're expecting. So if you do want to short the markets, I would say to be very careful because, you know, you could short this, it could go a little higher, you could try again, and that could end up hurting your portfolio a lot. So if I were to short this, I wouldn't necessarily start yet. I would wait to see our key levels. I'd wait for the data to be released. And then uh, if we truly are rejecting, if the market is showing signs of turning, that could be when you start to enter. And I would just like start small. I wouldn't necessarily go way too heavy. I would be very patient. Okay, so that's a very, very important aspect of trading. Uh, it's not ready to short yet. The market remains more bullish, not financial advice. But I'm just saying, just be careful for my friends out there who are trying to do it and be patient with this data that's coming out 2 p.m. is when we're going to be looking for a big move. For ES, we have something very similar going on right here. ES is trying to push higher. We're at the all time highs. We're looking at 58.40 as our targets, followed by 58.50 above that. If we reject, we're looking for basically 58.20 supports followed by the 5,800 area. Now, right now we're doing a good job at holding up. We're looking more bullish. I think this could surpass 5,840 for the time being, but just be careful as we get closer to new levels. For NVIDIA, we have basically a nice push to about 134. We came just short of 135. If we surpass that, we're looking for basically 136 and then 140 as our potential targets. If we end up losing 130, we're looking for support at 128. But overall, NVIDIA is still on an uptrend. Now, just know resistance is going to be kind of tough around 135 and also at 130, basically closer to 140. So be a little bit careful as these levels are reached. But I just wanted to make it very clear. NVIDIA has its AI conference that's still going on and has already pumped so much for the last couple of days approaching it. So that's the reason why it's now kind of stagnating. So I think it's going to likely continue to do that. 
Bitcoin is range bound. If you break 62,500 or more bullish, if you lose 61,800 or more bearish, we're just in the middle for now. So it's just, just shuffling. It could try to push for 64,000, 62,500, excuse me. We could be trying to push a little bit higher, but right now it's range bound. For Tesla, we're just range bound as well. I do see potential for us trying to surpass some key levels because when you zoom out, we could be forming a cup and handle, but we're not ready to break out yet. We're just kind of shuffling in the two. 44 area so it's not doing much it's just consolidating so give it some time to develop and as we get closer to tomorrow it could bounce depending on cpi and also anticipation of the robotax event on thursday so look at 244 and 247 as key levels of 247 breaks this could start pushing higher and if we end up losing 244 look at 242 as a support followed by 240 so watch those levels very carefully and we'll see how things end up going for nq this is pushing to 20,400. This could, could continue to push higher for our target of 20,500. It's doing a good job so far, and I see potential in this chart. Now, it's also worth mentioning that um, 20,500 is a possibility. If we start turning back down, we're looking at, at support at 20,330. If that fails, we're coming back down to 20,200. But overall, this remains more bullish. SPY is more bullish, and so is the QQQ, as we're forming a nice cup right now. This is kind of like, like a nice structure with a double bottom. If we surpass, so we're looking at, we're at resistance right now at 492.5. If we surpass this high here on the QQQ, the previous high we had back at the end of September, if this is surpassed, I think we fill the gap up to 495. If we don't surpass this, then this is going to be our resistance near the 493.5 area. So look at 493 as our targets. If we break through the 493s, we're looking for 495. If we end up losing 490, we're looking for a dip back down to 487. But overall, this looks more bullish, and 495 is a stronger possibility. For Apple, we look more bullish. If we end up losing 227, we're looking for 225. If we keep pushing, we're looking for 230s, our resistance up to where these balances happen to be. So, so I think the odds are favoring 230s. We'll give this some time. We'll see how things end up progressing. For the IWM, if we lose 218, we're bearish. If we hold above that, we're looking for the 220 area. So I think 220 is likely coming for the Russell, and then 222 if that's surpassed. For coin, we reclaimed our support. As long as we hold above 170, we're looking for 175 as our target. If we lose 167.5, we turn back down. This is favoring 175 as long as we maintain these structures. Amazon looks more bullish. We're looking for 185 as our target. If that breaks, we're looking for 186.5. Still looks more bullish to me. Meta, if we lose one uh, 586.29, we could turn lower. I think we might be retesting that. It's a little bit weak because we got some bad news that came out about them getting sued by 30 states. Microsoft is looking more bullish, uh, but despite them getting downgraded, they're still trying to surpass 420. For 420.64 is our target, and then 422.7. We'll see if we break past 420, but I do anticipate we're going to be testing it. For Google, we're kind of dipping right now. Just know that this had some bad news as it got a lower price target. So 162.5 is going to be our support, and we'll see how we end up reacting from there. For the VIX, we're a little bit more bearish looking. This could dip to fill this gap as the market pushes higher. Uh, it's no surprise we have this before CPI, but despite that, there's also another big gap to fill up here all the way up to the 36s. So like I was saying in my morning video, this could dip lower as the market pushes higher. But then eventually the VIX is going to break out higher because the market is going to get a rug pull in November, most likely November. So I still think there's going to be a rug pull coming. My view, my thesis remains exactly the same. So the only thing that changed about my view is the fact that the market went higher than expected. And I still, you know, I did turn more bullish before this move happened. So we called this move. I was telling you all this is going to likely, you know, try to reach all time highs if not surpass them. We said that in my morning video and also my video yesterday, I had to make an adjustment. So we were correct about that. Now. Even though that was a little adjustment I had to make, the market remains bullish and we could push more. Now, whether or not we continue could also depend on the status. We'll get ready for FOMC minutes and CPI. And just remember that even though the market can push higher, okay, I still hold the view we're going to top soon. The top could be closer to 578 to 580, could be closer to 580. We'll have to wait and see. And wherever or however high we go, um, just know that I don't think the move is going to last forever. There's going to be a rug pull coming later on, closer to November. We're not ready yet, so we remain bullish for the time being. So just keep that in mind. But that is my view. It's still quite consistent. I thank you all for listening. So have a great day and peace out.